and uh, welcome to Napa Valley College. And this is the introductory course to uh, Health 106. And I'm trying this out as, uh, this semester to see how we might do uh, with a video recording in place of our uh, first class meeting. So my intent today is to talk to you about how to be successful in Health 106. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'll be learning a lot about you as the semester goes along, um, but I thought that uh, this would be a good opportunity for you to uh, learn a little bit about myself. Uh, as, I, as you know, my name is Nadine Wade Gravitt, and I have been a faculty member at Napa Valley College for almost, I think, getting close to 29 years. Uh, of that time, I've had various jobs at the college. Um, I've been the athletic director, the dean, and uh, and now I am happy to be back in the classroom and teaching health and physical education. If you need to locate me, um, my office is in the physical education building and uh, I'm there pretty much every day. So uh, please feel free to drop by and uh, come see me. Um, just so you know a little bit about myself, um, I live here in the Napa Valley and have uh, for almost over 30 years. Uh, uh, I love it li living here. It's a terrific place. Um, I am happily married and have been for quite a, some time. I have two children, a 25-year-old daughter who's completing her doctorate at uh, University of G Virginia, and a 10-year-old son, so quite an age spread there. Um, but spend a lot of time with my family, and uh, as you will see, uh, that is interspersed into um, into our course this semester. My objective for this class is for you to be exposed to not only the technicalities of uh, what it means to live a healthy life and the definition of what a healthy life is, but to also to gain some skills and some applications. Uh, it's not just enough for me that you walk out being able to uh, answer all the test questions exactly how I'd like you to answer them and demonstrating that you understand the book knowledge. Um, but what I'm going to challenge you this semester is that you take that book knowledge and that you apply it to your life. And you will have the opportunity uh, through some of the exercises and through the explorations that we do to really explore your choices and how you choose to live your life. And it's my goal that you will see some alternatives, um, that you will increase your awareness, and that you will be able to make some changes. Um, my, my firm belief is that awareness leads to change, and uh, that's my goal, is that this semester you'll take a, an opportunity to look, um, to have your family look um, at, uh, and the people around you, to have them look at what kind of choices that uh, you are making and how that impacts your health and not only your health, but your community's health. So that's a little bit about what I expect for um, this semester, and hopefully it's, uh, it's a reason that you signed up for this class as well. Um, so let me walk you through, um, and so we, uh, it makes it a little bit clearer um, on uh, what my expectations are for the class. Uh, the uh, summer school class will be a little bit accelerated, so if you're not committed to um, being a self-motivated student, um, online classes are a difficult choice for you. Uh, if you are motivated and you are capable of staying on target and uh, can work independently, this is a very good choice for you. So uh, after you have logged on to the college website, uh, if you will um, then uh, be able to click on to the online education section. Um, and what I would recommend is that you read all of the uh, aspects. Uh, the people that um, develop this web page have really worked hard in trying to make the uh, uh, approach to and the ability to understand working online. So as you uh, leave the college website and enter into the online class section, you'll be prompted uh, to click in there to log in. And you will be uh, uh, given a log uh, uh, username and a password. And your username is the first two letters of your first name and the first two letters of your last name and the last four letters of your student ID. And then your, your student ID, your uh, password for the first time that you enter in is all caps STUDENT. And then when you enter in, you'll be prompted to change your um, your uh, password, and I really recommend that you do that. 
Um, if you uh, forget all of this that I'm talking about, it's all on the section on how to enter into it. So if I am to enter into this with my password, um, and then what you will see is I'm going to log us into my current health class um, in spring, and what you will see uh, is this view right here, and I'll click on the student view. So this is what should be prompted when you enter. If you have technical difficulties uh, uh, with your computer, um, please feel comfortable in um, contacting me as soon as possible. Do not wait, um, and I will try and get you set up with the uh, wonderful technical expertise that we have on the campus. Unfortunately, my computer skills, while growing, are, are uh, definitely um, uh, lacking. So I always refer to those who know much more than I do. I can help you with the health issues, um, but the, the uh, specific issues on computer. Um, what I do encourage the, is that you don't wait, though. If you have a computer problem, get to me as soon as possible. And you may use my uh, college website uh, or my college email address, and that is posted as well, to uh, address any of those issues. I want to warn you not to submit any, um, any uh, online health issues through the college website, though, please. So what I would recommend is that when you log on that you read all of this information that I have posted here. Um, I also give here the uh, um, information from our publisher. And on that, there is all kinds of information, how to prepare for tests. It gives some sample tests. Uh, and it's a great resource, so I encourage you to use it. Um, and then when you come down, you will see that I have listed um, pretty much everything that uh, I um, am requiring for this class. Um, the, the, if we click onto the syllabus, um, you'll see this information, and you'll also see my grading um, on what issues that I will be giving you and what points. This will change for each semester, but um, uh, you will have a current one when you log on. Um, as you can see, we have many different assignments. I try and give you as many opportunities to earn points as possible. Um, uh, and um, let me go through a little bit of those, each one of them, um, and then I'll go specifically into them. Uh, each, each week, uh, you are going to be required to submit the following, um, a current event article, a response to a current event, a journal of gratitude, uh, workbook assignments, and then at the end of the semester, uh, a research project, and also uh, you are required to do learning objectives that are taken right out of your textbook. And then, of course, we have three online exams. Um, if you go up a little bit further, you've got my telephone number, my campus email address, so all of that is right here on the syllabus. Um, I also give some information about uh, what kind of information, um, how I will grade, etc. The text um, is 10th uh, uh, edition of uh, Health and Wellness, and the workbook is actually included in the packet now, in the textbook. That's one of the changes that they made with the 10th edition, so uh, you don't have to worry about that. That is actually in it, and it's found in the back of the text.